Hello and uh, welcome to this exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be making an exciting comparison between Equity and Wix bookings. Equity and Wix bookings are both online scheduling platforms or online appointment scheduling softwares that allows businesses to manage their bookings and appointment in a user-friendly way. So we are going to be comparing these two, that is Wix scheduling and also equity scheduling so to begin with here are some of the main differences let's look at the pricing so let's begin with wix.com so to get the pricing you simply come to wix.com then here under more you click on more and then down at the drop down menu you click on pricing and it takes us here to wix premium plans and we are told that Wix gives you hundreds of templates, unlimited pages, and top grade hosting free. And you can upgrade to premium and get more. So here are the charges in terms of costing. With Wix, they have divided the website plans, business and e-commerce plans, and we have the enterprise plans. So under website plans, we have the VIP, unlimited, combo, and connect domain. Now for the VIP, it is $24 per month, unlimited $12 per month, and uh, for combo, it is $8 per month, and connect domain is $4 per month, that is for the website plans. So for the business and e-commerce, we click there, and it takes us to now the business VIP, which is $35 per month, business unlimited, which is $25 per month, and business basic which is $17 per month and you notice all the features that come with each of those plans for instance we have customer accounts we have the difference in terms of bandwidth business VIP has 50 GB business unlimited has 35 GB and business basic has 20 GB you can also look at the enterprise plans so for the enterprise plans if you click on that you notice you can now do business with them. With Wix Enterprise, it enables large-scale businesses to launch exceptional sites faster, manage better and work free by removing resource constraints and dependency bottlenecks. In this case now, for the Enterprise plan, they actually request you to make a call. You can now organize depending on how large your business is. Now, if we compare that pricing with Equity, you simply come to equityscheduling.com and then up here, you click on pricing and here is what Equity gives. So for emerging, you can do that at $16 per month and then the most popular, which is growing, you can get that at $27 per month and then we have the powerhouse, which you can also get for $49 per month. You also notice that Equity also gives you a start seven day free trial for each of those uh, popular premiums. So you can have seven days trial. The same thing is here with Wix. If we click on business plan and then we scroll down, we have this question, part of the frequently asked questions. Can I try Wix premium plan for free? If I click on that, they also give you an idea. Yes, try any week's premium plan. And if you decide it's not for you, you can cancel within 14 days. Therefore means you can try this uh, pre uh, plan also for weeks for 14 days for free. So the next item that we are looking at in terms of equity versus weeks. Uh, let's go to weeks. You log into weeks and then... You simply log in their email and password. And now here I'm already logged in. Logging in is a very basic thing. You just need your email and a password. So here we are on the interface. Now in terms of user interface and customization, Wix Bookings is a built-in feature of the Wix website builder. So it integrates seamlessly with the Wix platform. And this allows for a more cohesive look and fill between the website and the booking. So that is for the 
weeks. So if we go to equity, equity on the other hand has a stand alone platform. This can be embedded into your website and it gives you more control over the design and customization of the booking process. So that's one big difference in terms of the interface in that the interface for equity is a standalone platform and you can embed that to your website. Now, in terms of features, both Equity and Wix bookings offer a range of features, including online booking, calendar management, appointment reminders, payment processing, and integration with third party apps. However, Equity offers more advanced features, such as the ability to create customized intake forms, group appointments, and uh, recurring appointments. So if you look at the website for Equity, this is the default homepage. You notice we already have a calendar here and by default you get this. You can set your availability, you can create appointment types, you can customize your scheduling page and you can sync with other calendars. And that is very easy. The calendar is already down here. You can simply add new in terms of all this. You can create a new appointment, you can block off time, and all that with Equity. With Wix, you can also do the same, but the, but the dashboard looks a bit different from that of Equity. So you notice here we have our homepage for Wix, so you can update your site. However, Equity offers more advanced features such as the ability to create customized intake forms, group appointments, and recurring appointments. You notice that here with Equity, we have quite a lot on this side where you can customize so many things. You can customize your appointment types, the intake form questions, packages, gifts, and subscriptions, and you can also do quite a lot of integration with Equity. Up here on the calendar, you notice we can have, in terms of the, uh, under the overview, you can have the calendar, client, invoices, and uh, and the invoice part is quite new. If now I click up here, you notice now that with Equity, again, we have the website, you can have the e-commerce, we can do the email campaign, we can also do the domains, and we can also work with uh, Google Workspace. And if we look at Wix, Wix also has quite some things you can do. You can use the site and the app, that is the website, mobile app or a branded app. You can do the subscriptions. You can add your contacts in terms of either contacts, segments or site members or workflows. And then with uh, Wix, you can have communication either as a chat, you can create uh, forms and submissions and you can also do business emails. And you, call, you also have control over a lot of automations. And uh, you can also see your analytics. So that is uh, the differences in terms of the features. So let's now compare the customer support. Now, both platforms, that is Equity and uh, Wix, offer customer support. But now let's compare the Equity customer support and that of Wix. So in Equity, I'll click up here where we have the three horizontal lines, and then I'll go to Help. And so Equity takes me directly to the Square Space Help Center. So it has the option where I can type my question in terms of the Help Center here. I can type my question here, but they also have an option where now, if maybe my question is about website, is it about domains, is it about Google Worksheet, I'm able to click on one of them. Maybe, for instance, if I click on website, I can get the specific information that I need. So I've selected on website, so I click on any of this. Did I have an issue with adding pages? Did I have an issue with the, maybe the pages panel? Did I have any issue I select from this page and then of course that will take me to the page where I can get the solution which is quite a good thing and once I need maybe further help if I click on contact us up here 
I am able to fill this form. Choose a topic. Maybe it's about billing and paying. So if I select on that, it gathers resources for me. And then I'm able now to, if it's about billing, I'm able to tell them more. I can choose a topic again here, cancelling refunds, cancel service. And then I'm selecting maybe the first one there. And it takes me to this site where now I can get help on maybe how to do cancelling. And then they also have a video here that can show me cancelling a website subscription and all that. So that is the help you can get from this site. If now I go to Wix, I click on Wix website. Then up here, I click on help. Then I'm able to select any of this help that I can get. Do I need an editor tour? Do I need help in terms of keyboard shortcuts? So all this is the help that I can get from Wix website. So ultimately, the choice between Acuity and Wix depends on your specific needs and preferences. If you are already using Wix for your website, Wix booking might be the more seamless choice. However, if you need more advanced features or customization options, then Acuity might be the better option. So I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe.